All right, Shalawan, Yasha'ala. I want to start off with giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Rokakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. Shalawan to the hopeful elect. And now I'm laying back and off the brother of the Zakba's video. I'm from the page Street Teacher SCO4. And uh, in this video, I haven't even got through past one minute and three seconds man you know wh without having to stop and realize that these guys you know a lot of you israelite groups are losing your mind man okay you are forgetting that our battle most importantly is spiritual and not carnal now i'll say this you know there is nothing wrong with you know going to the gun range and um training yourself you know just for uh whatever whatever purpose that may be okay whatever you attended for but to mix that with the truth that's not spiritual man okay because we don't need no weapons man all right we got yahabashim yahabashai and i stopped it actually after a statement that this guy made man you know now let's hear it before i uh actually uh go into that you know You don't got to swore buy a garment and get one. You don't got to swore to sell your garment and buy one. Oh, where we at at? Well, we at the, uh, the gun range right now. I was about to uh, not only get their mind right, but get their aim right. And get your soul right too, right? Oh, and that the same thing, come on, man. You mixing this with the truth. You at the gun range, right? Uh, in your Israelite apparel, come on now, man. Are you serious? You can't do this uh, on your own free time. But see, this is what Jake do. Jake got to mix everything else that's going on in the world with the truth. Like I said, if you want to go shoot guns on your spare time, fine, go do that. But don't upload this to the congregation, to the people of Israel, like this is something spiritual. Like, this is something to do, man. This is just completely off, man. This is unspiritual. And for whoever of you guys that think this is spiritual, your spirit is off, man. You ain't right, man. Okay? Because the weapons of our war warfare are spiritual and not carnal, man. All we need is Yahabashim Yahweh and this word, man. That's all we need. We don't need nothing else. Ain't nothing going to defend us but Yahabashim Yahweh man. If we're a part of that elect, if we're covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. And that's what you got to put faith in, and that's what you got to put your trust in, man. Like King David said, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my refuge, man. Ain't no bow. Ain't no weapon going to save us. Esau ain't going to save us. Right? The woman ain't going to save us. Yahweh Shai is going to save us, man. That's all you got to put your faith into. That's it. Boy, ready. Boy, ready, I. Boy, ready. Boy, ready. Boy, ready. Boy, ready. Boy, ready. Spartan, Esau, Esau hunts for sport. This is his, this is his uh, blessing. So we got to try to tap into that realm. Esau. You, did you hear that? This is Esau's blessing, which we know is the sword. So we got to try to tap into his realm. Like, I put my part in it, right? Because we know that Esau's blessing, he was blessed with the sword. But he said out of his mouth that we got to try to tap into his realm. Why, why would we do that? When we know that Esau is carnal, man. He's not, he's not spiritual. Why would we do that? Like I said on the brother's page, I left a comment, Right? Exactly what I said. It says, uh, before I uh, end up uh, making this lesson, man, through the spirit, man, because it's like, man, this lesson had to be made. This is insane, man. That you Jakes to know y'all Israelites promoting this BS, man. And I put a, uh, why would we want to tap into his realm, his his blessing, 
knowing it's carnal and ours is spiritual. Not only that, but ours is more powerful through Yahweh Yahweh and the word. Okay, ours is more powerful. Why do you think that these devils want to come against us? And all we're doing is preaching and prophesying, right? Teaching the Bible on street corners throughout your major cities. And Esau is scared out of his mind, man. We're teaching the Bible. We're not picking up no swords, right? Our ultimate sword is the Bible, right? A spiritual book. But we're not picking up a literal, a literal sword. And Esau is losing his damn mind. So what else will we need? We don't need anything else. I'll tell you that now. And I'm going to read this scripture I got right here because I wanted to pull it out anyway through the Spirit. Uh, this is the book of Psalms uh, 44 verse 6. It says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. And this is King David saying this. But this is in the Spirit. Because our swords are not going to save us, man. We are not to trust in our bow. Because why? We got Yahweh Hashem Yahushad. That's who we put our trust in. That's who we put our faith in. Right? Because He will strengthen us. To make it through anything. Okay? And you have to really believe that. And if you think that uh, taking on the approach of trying to doomsday prep and, you know, do all these different things other than trusting Yahweh Hashem Yahushah, then you, you, you lack faith, man. Okay? You lack faith. All right? Let's play that again, man. Let, let's hear this. Let's hear him say this, this, this madness again, man. Esau's, Esau hunts with sport. This is his, this is his uh, blessing. So we got to try to tap into that realm. Esau hunts with sport. This is his, this is his uh, blessing. So we got to try to tap into that realm. And like I said, like I said, man, I didn't even get past uh, one minute and three seconds. And I can already tell you that this is going off, man. This is unspiritual. Now, like I said before, you know, are you wicked for going to the gun range? No, do that at your own time. You got, you know, uh, at your, your, your free time. But to upload this to the congregation, this is unspiritual, man. For you to tell people, people that following you, right? Or you're not even directly telling them, but you're sending this message out there in that particular manner that, hey, we got to tap into his realm, right? This is his blessing, right? His, we know his blessing is the sword, but we have to tap into his realm? Why? Why? Why would we want to do that? And his, his, we know that he's carnal, man. He lives and die by, dies by the gun. Carnality. But we are spiritual. Oh boy, man! I tell you, Jake. Of uh, Second Corinthians ten, verse um three says, "For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds." How are we gonna do that? We're gonna do that with the bow? No, we're gonna do that. With this word, man. Right? Through the Holy Spirit that the Lord have uh, bestowed upon his true men. And the leaders of all Israel are the apostles. of Starting with the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders on down. But what? Through this word, man. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. And we are doing that by this truth. Right? Preaching the word. Simply. That's it. That's all we need to do, man. That's all we do. That's all we're doing is preaching the Bible, and we are labeled terrorists, right? We are la we are labeled uh, or going to be right public enemy number one, the Hebrew Israelites, man. Why? Because we're teaching against this place, America, Babylon, the Great. We're teaching against the things um, that they teach here in America, man. The things that's contrary to the to the scriptures, man, to the Heavenly Father. We teach in the right way. We teach in the truth, man. And if you are teaching the contrary, right, to the Bible, then you are ultimately our opposer, man. 
which we know Esau Edom is. Okay, number one. So verse four again says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High, Yahweh, right? To the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to obedience of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay? So yeah, you know, like I was saying, the weapons of our warfare uh, are not carnal, but spiritual, man. And these guys are cl clearly unspiritual, man. All right? These, these guys have a, a, a carnal, you know, a way about them. Unless they are on a carnal mission and Esau have set them up, man. Right? Because a lot of you Israelites need to know that there's a lot of agents out here, man. You know, proclaiming to be Hebrew Israelites, man. But just trying to stir, stir things up. Hey man, so hey, that's that's pretty much you know what I wanted to go into real fast through the spirit and power y'all about me. I was shy, a quick hit, and, and just to you know land back off this video, man. This is this is crazy, man. You know, and this is the first you know one of the first videos I uh, end up watching this morning. Um, I seen the brothers posting it, and it, I haven't you know clicked on it yet. But hey, you know you know how the spirit goes. But this this is just off, man. You know. Hey, you Israelites out there, but hey, you just we gotta remain spiritual, and all we gotta do is continue to teach and, pre and preach this word, man. Continue to chant down, chant down Babylon. Put that energy and vibration out there. You know, we don't need to put this energy out there. See, let's let's play that back one more time, man, because it's just it's just crazy, man. Where's we at? Uh, he said it around 50. Unbelievable. Man, a lot of you jakes out there might think this is a light thing. And no, this ain't a... Man, come on, man. You know, this ain't got nothing to do with us. You know, because we don't give a damn about Esau. We ain't scared of Esau. We out there standing boldly against him every day, chanting down his kingdom, telling these devils they're going to go to slavery. Right? Not even on these low Edomite level, but these high level Edomites, the banking families, we telling them where they about to go, man. Right? We don't give a damn about you Edomites. You know? We we doing the work of Yahweh Shem Shah, so we ain't scared. We don't fear. The only person we fear is Yahweh Shem Shah. But, you know, this this uh energy, vibration being put out there in this type of way, we not about that, man. Okay? Great Millstone is not about that. Okay? Spot hunt. Esau hunts for sport. This is his, this is his uh, blessing. So we got to try to tap into that realm. Esau hunts for sport. This is his, this is his uh, blessing. So we got to try to tap into that realm. I mean, why are they gonna make another video about you? Right? No, no yeah, how should I say, say your beloved and buy a sword? And then they found two swords in the hour, so I said, that's enough. So, four. So, two swords of people. <laughs> two guns up, man. Two guns up. <laughs> so, the pull up boys pulling up to the range? I left my receipt. So what we doing out here, my guy? Huh? What we doing out here? We're about here? to bust off some uh, some rounds here. And, uh, what, what what rounds we we letting off today? We letting off that AR. We letting off forty cal and a nine millimeter. Okay, come on, come on. All right, that's my take on this. Uh, you know, video. Um. You know, I got somewhere to go, you know, babe. But the point is, hey, we hear our great millstone. We about teaching the word, man. Okay? That's what we about. We about teaching the word. We not doing all these other things that you people into, man. We not putting forth that vibration and energy out to the Israel to do. We we trying to tell our, we telling our people, look, man, it's time to get yourself right, right? Cleanse up your act, repent, and return because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? Fear your high, Bashim, Yom, 
uh, use wisdom when you're out and about. You know, be an Israelite uh, all day, every day, 365, right? Not just knowing an Israelite, not just knowing that you are an Israelite, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, being being an Israelite, man, you know? Trying to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. And just teach the word, man. Just teach the word. Everything else is, is BS, man. We don't need to do nothing else. But with that, shalom, man.